name is Bonnie. This is Artist in a Garden. What a gorgeous day we finally have today. Our snow has melted and it is time to get this mess in here cleaned up so that I can move my seat starts from my seat studio out here into my brand new greenhouse. Well, I built it last year. It's the Paul Ram Orangery greenhouse with the little foyer and uh, the footprint of it I believe is 10 by 12 and we did the build on it last season so it's my first year technically with this greenhouse and uh, my first winter with the greenhouse. I heated uh, the greenhouse over the winter and attempted to keep it above freezing to try and overwinter some of my plants out here. I put uh, some Boston ferns and some palms out here in the greenhouse and they did really well up and through till about Christmas, uh, the end of December, when our temperatures started to drop to, I think a couple of nights, we had it at minus 20 outside. The greenhouse did fall below freezing. So we hit a couple of minus five nights and then I lost power. So there were a few days where we had no power and with no power, I had no heat source. My heating source is electric heat uh, plugged into a thermostat. So we had a few nights where the greenhouse had no heat, same temperature as outdoors and everything froze. So I thought I could keep the root systems in some of these plants viable, but uh, alas, they have all perished. I will start over again with some ferns and some palms for the summer season this year in my garden. I will be moving my strawberry baskets back outside to see if, um, if they will perk up. But I also have something really exciting to build for my greenhouse this year. And uh, let's get this mess cleaned up so I can show you my new addition to the greenhouse. So I think the best way to tackle all of this mess in here is just to start bringing everything out of the greenhouse and start with a clean slate. So let's get to it. I'm going to pull everything out onto the lawn, get rid of what uh, no longer needs to be in here and get it set up ready for my seedlings. When lights go out You're in my mind I close my One thing that I am concerned about are my dahlia tubers. I had them in the greenhouse over the winter. I hope they didn't freeze. They probably got a little too cold or a little frozen, but uh, we won't worry about that today. Let's get this swept out and tidied up and I will show you what my new addition to the greenhouse is going to be for this season. It's hard to believe that all of this stuff came out of that tiny little greenhouse. It feels good just to get it all out, get it all swept out and tidied up so that I can start building the new addition to the greenhouse for this season. It's very echoey in here with nothing in here. <laughs> I am adding 
water. I'm adding a sink to the greenhouse. We were at Ikea about a month ago and in their small space, you know, the, the whole theme of tiny houses these days, they had this cute little kitchenette with a sink and they had a little fridge in it as well. I don't think I'm gonna need a fridge out here, but wouldn't it be kind of cool to put the little fridge and I could have beverages out here in my little greenhouse. It would truly be a little she shed then, but let me grab the instructions so that I can talk to you about what this sink entailed. These are the instructions that I've gotten for my IKEA sink. It's called a Sunursta. Sunursta? The Sunursta sink. A cute a little sink. It's got just a metal frame that the sink sits in and at the Ikea showroom, up in their showroom, they had a little faucet attached to it as well. So I found a faucet on clearance that I thought would work great. I'll add an adapter to it so that I can hook a garden hose. I will probably make a little hole in uh, the plexiglass and feed the garden hose through the back of the greenhouse to hook up to the sink so that I will have access to running water. And draining the sink will probably just be into a bucket or a a watering can that I can then use the, the water to water the plants with. So, something new to try this season in the greenhouse. I'm going to get it put together and set up today. So, let's start, let's start building the sink. Step one. And in typical IKEA fashion, everything is being assembled together with an Allen key. Let's get this box open and uh, see where we begin. So let's get this out of the box here so we can start assembling. This summer I'll be by your side. A wonder that you can describe. So I've got all the pieces laid out for the assembly of the sink. You can see that it's not a lot of pieces. I believe those are the legs, uh, that's the back piece, uh, some supports, and then your counter with the sink and then the bottom shelf. So this should go together pretty, pretty easy. I typical IKEA fashion everything is put together with your handy dandy Allen key step number two tighten the bolts which we already did sink top on already okay yes can you hold that end up minor adjustments we had to move one of these bars up to the top here instead of on the bottom so the bottom only has one bar for now and I think these two pieces go down there somehow but we will get to that step but we are cruising right along step number 10 we need to add a couple little uh, plastic a little plastic knob or doodadder thing to screw these screws into so we have two of those. Let's figure out where they go. So these clip, ah, they slide in here. And that's what the screw goes into. Can you put a screw in there and see if it's lined up? Yeah. Cool. And then there's one more that goes on this side. Here.
So step number 11 is showing to add two cross supports to the back, but uh, I have the screws, but I don't have those two little pieces. Maybe they're in the box. Let me see if I can find them. Hmm. Oh, I found them. Here they are. They were under the box. Okay guys, this is going together quite simply. And now we have to add the shelf. So there is a little shelf under the sink that uh, slides onto two 90 degree supports. And it doesn't exactly say how these go. Hmm. Well, let's figure it out, shall we? Oh, I think I got one. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. And then this one goes in here. Do those, ah, oh, this is easy. Ah, don't speak too soon, right? <laughs> it's not fully together yet. Okay, now we attach these screws at the top. longest there's not enough room under the sink to turn the allen key so you get like a quarter of a turn each time we're almost there I think we got it oh. well we have a shelf what is our next step now that we have the shelf <gasps> We get to put the sink in. Oh, that's what those fancy uh, metal brackets are for. Careful not to pinch your finger, it says. We are looking for these crazy looking little shaped metal things. They go on the sink. I guess they go on the sink. And then from the sink, they hook onto here. All right, let's figure this out <sighs> okay we have the sink here and these we have a box of these little metal metal clips with screws on them they're quite interesting looking and somehow we attach them to our sink we go on the metal bracket on the sink here with the hooks on the outside go down ah look at that and it just hooks onto the side of your sink like that we will do two more on this side Well, let's try this and see if it goes in. We tighten the screws down on the clamps and that's what clamps your sink down. Okay. On the roads we used to walk With the rivers walked along with us
the cold I'll be better when the summer's gone Now the wind's blowing And I'm right back here again It might take a while but I understand That I keep thinking about those years ago When sleeping next to you was usual Well, guys, what a successful, satisfying day. The first day of spring, which I just realized today, I believe it's the first day of spring, March 20th. It's either today or tomorrow. What a great way to start off our spring season 2022, then organizing my greenhouse and getting it all set up, ready to go for the season. I am so excited and happy the way that this sink has turned out. I think it's a great addition to the greenhouse, will add so much function and practicality to the space. I'm excited to get my little seedlings from my seed studio out here into my greenhouse to continue watching them grow. My name is Bonnie. This is Artist in a Garden. Thanks for watching, guys. I will keep you updated on how things go in the greenhouse this year. Bye-bye.